I play the Secretary of Defense. It's a wonderful character. It's a wonderful character. She's obviously very tough, and but I think funny. I mean, they've written me wonderful stuff. What's really fascinating is since this script's been written and since we have been shooting this, you see stuff on the news now that's mimicking it. Yesterday's events were a violent reminder. The forces out there who have to sabotage not only the U.S. democratic way of life, but also our economic and commercial interests throughout the world. It's a little scary that, that um, we really are playing out some things that are happening right now. We will stop at nothing to defend ourselves. My character's son was killed in Afghanistan. It's a big story point that she buys the presidency for the president. Um, I'm using it not financially, but uh, emotionally because of the death that she endured and apparently the way she handled it. Um, it brought America to her side and to this presidency, and he was reelected again because of this loss that she suffered. So she's very, very powerful. And she's the most powerful American in the show because the president listens to her. Not a second. The character of Mark and I uh, respect each other very much. They start out as allies and become enemies. Never mind that it's a breach of international law. They chose total disregard for basic human rights. That's the Congress to decide. My character does feel betrayed, not specifically by him, but by the circumstances and, and false information that were given. We both suspect each other, which is very, very interesting. I'll play along with your, your little stunt out there, all right? All that hot air about strong bonds and unity. But my son did not die in Afghanistan so that our so-called allies can blow themselves up in our own backyard. You see how tough she is in the show. They'll then put in a wonderful scene where she goes to the grave once a month. And she says to Christopher, her undersecretary, I sent my son to war. We sometimes in our jobs, we have to make diff difficult decisions. She says, I do not shrink from that. And then she starts planning something else right at his grave. And it, it's, it's fascinating. It's just, she absolutely fascinates me the way they've written her. You just don't know till the end, you know, who she really is.